Please welcome Billy T. James Award winner, Corey Gonzalez McCure. Thank you. Come on, make some noise, Queen Sound. Yeah. I flew down from Wellington and I'm quite scared of flying at the moment. I don't know if you guys saw this on the news a few weeks ago, but there was this massive plane crash in Africa and they showed it on the news and there was just like a mess everywhere, debris all over the place. But I was thinking like, from a comedian's point of view, wouldn't it be quite interesting to go to the site of the crash, but you go dressed up as a pilot? Oh no, it gets better, it gets better. And you crawl under a bit of debris? and you pretend to be asleep and then when the crash investigators come they lift up the debris and you're like oh shit sorry man uh, I had a pretty big night last night uh, Went to the Brooke Fraser concert, got messed up. Uh, wouldn't be that funny if you actually did it. If you, if you pulled it off with that comic timing, how could they not laugh, I reckon. But um, I hate whenever I get on planes, they just make me feel stupid. Like uh, They always seem to fill you up with the most unimportant information that you don't really need to know. Like I got on this plane, the plane took off, and the stewardess, she got on the microphone thing, and she sounded really excited. And she goes, welcome to flight 406. Your pilot today will be Daniel McLaren. And I'm just sitting there thinking, who gives a shit who the pilot is, man? Like, what do they reckon we're gonna do? Do they think somebody on the plane is gonna turn to the person next to them and go, did she just say, Daniel McLaren? <laughs> oh, he's good. <laughs> hey, Sharon, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, Daniel McLaren. Yeah, from Horse and Pilot magazine. Yeah. <laughs> so hot right now, I know. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> now, guys, this is a music show. Um, and I, I kind of dabble into a bit of music. Do you guys mind if I play a few songs for you? Is that all right? Yeah? All right, three people want it and four people say no. All right, well, fuck all you guys, I'm off. All right, now I should let you know that I only know three chords and I've written 27 songs of them. <laughs> so it's gonna be a long night, just warning you right now. This is a kind of love song, oh not really a love song, it's a heartbreak song. I've actually just come out of a two and a half year relationship. This is a, oh no, she was a filthy horse, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, anybody here in a relationship at the moment? Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna last, man. <laughs> you know, maybe like two years from now, you're gonna wanna surprise your girlfriend by taking flowers around to her house, but you're gonna walk in on her having sex with her flatmate, and she's gonna be like, no, Corey, it's not what it looks like. And then you're like, oh, well, it looks like you're having sex. And then she's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's pretty much what we're doing. So, you know. <laughs> this song is called Natural Disaster, AKA Love. <laughs> Woke up today, got your email, said you're going away. away, away. There's easier ways to break up with me than by email, you female. Woman, female, now I'm drying my eyes. That's right. Every man cries sometimes. The last time I cried was when the Asian chick from Shortland Street died. <laughs> now you say you're moving to Australia. You're dropping out of the school of love. You failed your last exam. Which was me You got a D Scaled up from an E You're late So I'm a broken man 
You've broken my heart Your tsunami of love has drowned my emotions And now I'm lying here I need some relief The United Nations of love has abandoned me And I'm cold, cold, I'm cold You need to hold your emotions back, biatch Can't you see I'm cold? And I gave you my favorite jacket Probably why I'm cold <laughs> So cold So cold Thank you